SquishyMonster.com and today I'm sharing with you my lacy cookies. These are paper thin, they're so delicate, and they just melt in your mouth with this intricate caramely goodness. I so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. So let's get started. For the caramel-like base of these cookies, I'm going to toss in some brown sugar and some cream. And don't worry, as always, the details are provided below and at thesquishymonster.com. To my brown sugar and cream, I'm going to add in some butter and some honey. And then I'm just going to put it on the stove top and let it come to a bubble. So this honey is taking forever and a half to come out and might need a little bit of coaxing. So I'm just going to bring everything to a bubble. I have my heat set at about medium low and you want to slowly and gently melt everything together and dissolve it together and then bring it to a fierce bubble. And then I'm going to add in some salt and some extract. Citrus zest and citrus uh, extract is really nice in this but you can also use vanilla. When it comes to a bubble like this, turn off the heat and now you can add in your salt and your extract. These cookies are so simple, but they're incredibly decadent, and I hope you'll give them a try. I'm actually gonna take these as a treat for my folks when I go home this weekend. So now, all we have to do is add two more ingredients and you're done with the dough. So here, I'm going to sprinkle in my flour, and then it'll help thicken the mixture so it'll combine well together so you can form little balls. And then I'm also gonna add in some toasted nuts. You can use whatever variety you like or have. Um, hazelnuts are really nice. I'm using almonds. You can use macadamias, whatever you really have or like. Toss in the rest and just fold it to combine. I find that these cookies are much easier to handle and scoop when they've cooled slightly, so I've waited five to 10 minutes, and the beauty of this is if it gets too firm for you, you can pop it on the stove low and slow again until it kind of redistributes and gets melty a little bit. So I like to use baby scoops for this because they do spread a considerable amount, and you want to place it either on parchment or some sill pad. And you can kind of push it down a little bit with some wet hands to flatten it out so you kind of can gauge how much it will grow. And as they bubble away, they'll get these little lacy kind of intricate webs inside. They're really pretty. 